Hello friends. Today we will be learning the back exercise for the chapter 4. Ethics and safety measures in computing system. Part A. Multiple choice questions. Name a destructive program which enters into your system through any attachments or download from the internet and attacks your data and security. Virus. Second, what is referred to as a set of informally defined rules regarding the use of computer, internet resources, data and information and more. Ethics. Third, what is the process of unauthorized access to another person's system, data or information called hacking? Fourth, the act of disguising oneself to collect sensitive private information from other people is called phishing. Fifth, what is the basic filtering point for a system connected to the internet used to prevent unauthorized access called firewall? Part B. Fill in the blanks. First, a white hat hacker or ethical hacker is a computer security specialist who breaks into protected systems and networks to test and assess their security. Second, the act of copying other people's content or any other work and publishing it in your own name is called plagiarism. Third, MC Cafe is a popular antivirus software. Fourth, a record of all the websites which have been visited or opened by the user in a web browser is known as browser history. Fifth, every time a user logs into an online website for transaction or other services, a trail of digital footprint is left over the internet. Part C. Write T for true and F for false statements. First, email is a very common and affordable means of digital communication. True. Second, data privacy is a serious security issue. True. Third, ethics is the code of conduct followed by hackers. False. Followed for being safe. Fourth, all the information found on the internet is correct. False. The in Information found on the internet may not be correct. Fifth, cyberbullying is a criminal offense which is punishable by law. True. Part D. Answer in one word. First, what is referred to as the license for using the non-physical properties of a user or a company like its data or content, software, its patents, and much more. Intellectual property rights. Second, what is referred to the act of stealing or using something without the authorization, permission of the owner. Piracy. Third, a different term for spam mail. Junk mail. Fourth, name the basic filtering point for a computer system connected to the internet to prevent unauthorized access from public networks. Firewall. Fifth, name the process of assessing another person's system, data or information in an unauthorized manner. Hacking. Part E. Match the following. Facebook, social networking site. Ethical hacker, white hat hacker. Black hat hacker, malicious hacker. MSFA, Antivirus software, cyberbullying, cybercrime. Part F. Answer the following. First, describe briefly the ethics of the cyber world. Answer. In computing, ethics refers to a set of informally defined rules regarding the use of computer, internet resources, data, information and more. It describes the do's and don'ts of being online or in the cyber world. Ethics is the code of conduct to be followed for being safe in the online world.
common issues in the domains of computer ethics are related to data manipulation, privacy concerns, hacking, etc. Question number 2. What are the safety measures to be followed while using the internet? Answer. The following safety measures are First, always use strong and complex password for bank transactions. Second, the computer connected to the internet should be having a licensed version of antivirus software installed. Third, there should be strict parental guidance while minor kids are using digital devices connected to the internet. Fourth, never share your personal data with unknown group and circles. Fifth, before connecting a system to internet, make sure that the firewall protection is turned on. Question number 3. How can firewall ensure protection from hackers? First, it provides the basic security of protecting private networks from public security threats like hackers, virus attack and illegal access. Second, when an unauthorized user sends data or message from an unknown source, firewall filters it and denies permission to enter into the private network. Question number 4. What is a digital footprint? Answer. Every time a user logs into an online website for any online transaction or other services, Sensitive information like personal data and other digital details are left on the website that the user had visited. A trail of digital records will be left over in the online space just like footprints that is created while walking on the sand. This data is known as digital footprints. Thank you friends. Bye-bye.